Today I'm going to show you how to use the red command without using the red command. Here we have this object that we already drew. We discussed how this was drawn. We used the revolve command. Remember when you do revolve, remember when you do revolve to use a center line. Your center line cannot double up as your object line. So you do need to draw two separate lines there. Please remember that. So here we have this item. And I know you're going to want to use the revolve command. I'm sorry, not the revolve command. I know you're going to want to use the width command, but the width command won't work on objects that are that are round like this. Okay? This is round. It won't work on this. So you will have to create a shape that will work. The shape I recommend you create is the base uh, hypotenuse line of your right triangle. Go through the center of the part, go back, and then close it. That way you have a closed loop, this shape. If you have this shape, a closed loop, okay? Then when you go over here, you pick rib. That should work. We're about to find out. Should and does are two different things, correct? Nope, that won't work either. This closed loop shape won't work for rib, but that's okay. You're going to get that. It's going to fail. And you're going to say okay to that. You can extrude this shape through the mid plane, 0.375, okay? <coughs> Output is a solid object. The output is a solid object. Very important. Do not pick surface. It needs to be a solid object. When you hit OK, there is your actual rib with that nice front step. And the back end, though, however, does actually stick out because it's a straight extrusion. We'll deal with that later. I'll show you when. Your next step should be to go ahead and modify, use the modify command. You have to open this up so you see everything. After modify, you have explore, work features, pattern. You're going to use the circular pattern of this item around this object. You can pick the center if you want to around this center. You're going to make four of these and you're going to hit OK. That's how you end up with, sorry, that's how you end up with four ribs all around flat ribs. Flat ribs. Flat ribs. <coughs> but you will notice, of course, on the back end that the ribs stick out. The solution to cleaning that of all things, is to go ahead and create a new sketch on the back side, project that geometry of that out radius, go to isometric, and of all things, you're going to extrude this out, you're going to extrude this out through all, the whole object, but instead of your standard extrude, you're going to pick something called intersect. Intersect will only delete what's touching, what's crossing that circle. When you hit OK, your entire object stays, and those little corners are lobbed off. <coughs> Again, corners are there. 3D model, extrude. Distance is all. And you're going to use a feature called intersect. That's how, this is an example of where you would use intersect. You can't always find a, t uh, a need for it because you don't think about it. You're either adding material, joining it, removing material, cutting it out. What I'm showing you is this third option called intersect. Okay? That's, this is an example of where you would use intersect. So you retain your object and only lob off the little elements in the, in the edges of the object. 
Tchau, é o nosso vídeo.